earn rewards for completing tasks in your scenario. We're going to go to this location and we're going to place a player. So we're going to place down an unarmed rifleman right about here. We're going to face in this direction. Then we're going to right click him, edit his loadout. I'm going to go to load and give him a TRG woodland loadout. All right, so this is our loadout. All right, that sets up the player. Next, we're going to go to Hope 4, and then we're going to collapse this. We're going to choose FIA, then men. And we're going to choose a rifleman. We'll place him over here and face him that direction. Then we're going to edit him and give him a variable name of RIF, short for rifleman. Next, we're going to go to F5 Systems. Then we're going to go to Intel. We're going to place down a create task module. I'm going to place that right here. And we're going to edit the module. And we're going to set the owner to Blue Force since we're on the Blue Force side. We're going to go down to title. And the title is going to be Kill the Rifleman. Next, we're going to go down to destination. We're going to disable that. The state will be created. The task type will be kill, which is down here. And we'll just hit OK. Next, we're going to go to Set Task State Module and place that. And place that right here. We're going to open that up. And we're going to set this to Succeeded. And just hit OK. And that's all you need to do for that. Next, we're going to sync the Create Task Module to the Set State Task Module. Next, we're going to go to Triggers. We're going to choose a trigger without a size. And we're going to place it right about here. We're going to right click it, we're going to go to connect, then sync to, and connect that to the set task state module. Then we're going to go back to the trigger, and we're going to edit the trigger. In the condition box, we're going to put exclamation point, alive, in small letters, space, R-I-F, and then semicolon. Next, we're going to go into the on activation box, and I'm going to give you guys a code underscore B E H space equals space quote end quote space create vehicle with a capital V and space get marker marker is with a capital M pause with a capital P and space quote end quote and then semicolon. Hold down left shift and then press enter. That'll put you one line down. And we're going to put a hint. So type in hint space quote you have earned a new vehicle as your reward. Exclamation point end quote and then semicolon. Alright let's go over this code. In order to earn an award for your efforts we have our target, which is the Rifleman. This code here in the condition box is basically going to check to see if our Rifleman, our enemy Rifleman, is alive. Now remember here, RIF is the variable name of the Rifleman. In the on activation box, we have this code. This is, stands for vehicle that's going to be spawned. In the quotes here, we have to put a class name of a vehicle. We still got to do that yet. Here, this will create the vehicle from the class name. The vehicle will spawn at a marker position that we have to define yet. And once the vehicle spawns, when we kill the rifleman, this hint will pop up telling us that you have earned a new vehicle as your reward. So let's hit OK for now. What we need to do next is we're going to go to F1 Objects and we're going to go to blue 4 and we're going to choose a vehicle so we're going to close the men category and we're going to go to cars we're going to place a prowler HMG but first we need to place vehicle without a crew so we're going to choose the prowler HMG and all we need to do here is get the class name of it and how do we do that so you just click on the vehicle make sure it's highlighted like you see here and it's with the wire box right click it and then go down to where it says log and you're going to go to log classes to clipboard just click on that the box will disappear next you just delete the vehicle because it's going to be spawned and then we're going to go back to the trigger edit the trigger and in the first quotes here you're going to make sure your cursor is blinking 
and press Control V, and that'll paste the class name that you logged. All right, just hit OK now. And one more thing we need to do is we're going to go to Markers F6, and we're going to scroll in, zoom in, and this is where we're going to decide where the vehicle is going to spawn at. So let's choose a system marker. I'm going to choose empty and we're going to put that marker right about here. Make it face this direction and we're going to name this marker something simple. Mark. All right? So our marker name is Mark. Hit OK and that sets up our marker. So next we're going to go to back to the trigger and after where it says get marker pause in between the quotes you're going to put mark so remember mark is the name of our marker hit ok that sets up our little mission and before we begin we're just going to save this so I'm going to hit the save icon at the top left I'm going to put this on Livonia and I'm going to name this task underscore reward all right, so our mission is saved. Let's play the scenario. So here's our scenario. Our vehicle should spawn there once we kill this guy. And let's go to the map real quick. So we have a task right here. Kill the rifleman. We don't have any description, so none's going to be there. And uh, let's kill our rifleman. All right, so we got the task completed. And the hint at the top right says you have earned a new vehicle as your reward. We look to our right. And here's our vehicle. If you open up the trigger and you scroll down, if you wanted to give a little delay for the vehicle, for when it spawns, you could just put in the uh, trigger timer, you could put like something like three or five. So let's put three, three, and it just hit OK. So we'll save that and let's try that. So in three seconds, when I kill this guy, Trigger the task is going to go off complete and the vehicle is going to spawn. So that's what the delay is going to be. Another way is you could have uh, with the task, your task is automatically going to show up like it, like it did. If you wanted to do it a different way, you could put another trigger. We'll just expand it a little bit. We'll edit the trigger the square. You could create an area trigger to where when the player enters it, that it fires off the task. So if we edit the trigger and we set the activation to, we could go any player present or we can go blue four present, it doesn't matter. That's it. Next, you basically can just synchronize the trigger to the create task module. And we could try that. So let's do that. So let's go save our mission and let's test it out. If we go to our map, you're going to see that we don't have any task here. But if I enter the trigger, kill the rifleman, that's our task. So now we get the task and if we kill our rifleman, three second delay and boom. So we get the message at the top right and that's it. Now another way to do this is to create a destroy objective. So let's delete our trigger here and our rifleman. We're going to go to F1 and then props and we're going to have our target as an ammo box. We're going to type in ammo in the search box and we're going to choose a basic ammo LDF. We're going to place that right here. You see this direction. Then we're going to edit it and give it a variable name of ammo one. All right, that sets up our ammo box. Next, we're going to go back to the task, create task module, and we're going to change the description and the word it destroy the ammo box. Then we're going to go down to task type and set that to destroy. Hit OK. So that sets up that. Next, we're going to go to the trigger, and we have to change the condition because now it's changed to an ammo box. And we're going to word that ammo one. So ammo one is the name of our ammo box. 
So now we should get the task right away. And once we destroy this, then we should get our reward. So let's save that and test it out. Go to the map. We have our task. Destroy the ammo box. And uh, let's destroy it. All right, so we got three second delay, remember? And we got it. we completed the task. We have our feedback, our hint at the top right, and there's our reward. I want to show you guys something else. So let's delete the ammo box. So we're going to go to the map. This other way that you could do is you're going to take the existing trigger and we're going to move it. I'm going to put it right about here, and we're going to resize it. I'm going to edit it real quick. Make it a square. Basically, we're just, just going to square it up with this area. We're going to expand it. This is going to be a clear area type of task. So we're going to edit the trigger and we're going to set the activation to 04 and activation type to not present. For the condition, we can remove that, but we're going to put the word this and that's it. So everything else is going to work as is and then we just hit OK. Next we're going to go to F2, then O4, and collapse this, go to FIA, Infantry, put down a patrol team. We're going to place them inside the trigger, if they have them face this way, and right about there, that's fine. Alright, so the basic idea of this, alright, so next we're going to go to our pass, and this one we're going to change to clear the area, and this we could just put as kill and that's it. So nothing's changed for there. Our objective has just changed. So we're gonna save that. We're gonna test it out. Alright, so here's our enemy. Let's throw a grenade over there. That should have killed them all. Yep. Task complete. Clear the area. You have earned a new vehicle as your reward, and it's over there. This next way of using this is we're going to create up a rescue task. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete these two tasks and leave the trigger for now. We're going to go to F1, and we're going to go to civilian, and we're going to choose a civilian. We're going to place them over here. You can face this direction, and then we're going to go to triggers, trigger without a size, we're going to place that right here, we're going to go to the map, and we're going to expand the trigger so it encompasses the civilian. We're just going to offset it for the moment so we can uh, access it. What we're going to do is we're going to edit civilian and give him a variable name of POW, POW. Alright, so he's named, and we're going to go to the trigger itself that surrounds him, and we're going to put some code in the on activation box. We're going to put a square bracket, POW, right square bracket, space, join, space, left curvy bracket, group, space, player, right curvy bracket, semicolon, space, POW, space, global, chat, space, quote, Thanks for rescuing me. Exclamation point, end quote, and then semicolon. POW is the name of our civilian. When we enter the trigger, POW is going to join us, and we're going to be able to command him. And upon that, he's going to basically say, thanks for rescuing me. So for this trigger, we need to set the activation to blue 4 present. And that's it. Alright, so we're going to move the trigger right about there. Gives us enough room to enter it. And that's all we need to do for that part. Next, what we need to do is we're going to set up some tasks. We're going to go to F5, and then we're going to go to Intel. Put down a Create Task Module. And place that right here. We're going to set the Create Task Module to Blue 4. The title is going to be Rescue the POW. In the description, We'll put a little message, we'll say, the civilian was captured by the enemy, 
rescue him. Alright, destination, we don't need to worry about that. State is going to be created. Task type is going to be is going to be help. That that should work. Alright, so rescue the POW. Hit OK. Next we're gonna set a task state module. We're gonna place that right here. We're gonna open that and we're gonna set this to to failed. Hit OK. And we're gonna sync we're gonna sync the set task state module to the create task module. We're gonna place down another set task state. I'm gonna place it below the create task module. We're gonna sync it to the create task module. We're gonna edit it and we're gonna set it to succeed it. And then we're going to spin these guys around a little bit and I just place this right about here. Now that we have that set up, we're going to place down a trigger. I'm going to place a trigger right about here, and we're going to edit it. We're going to make it rectangle for the moment, and then we're going to resize it. Now that we have the trigger down, we want to connect the succeeded one to the trigger. We're going to edit the trigger, and in the condition box, we're going to put the following. We're going to put POW space in space this list and then semicolon. In the on activation box you're going to put POW space join silent space group just GRP and null and then semicolon. When the POW enters the trigger it's going to check that it is the POW and on the activation, the POW is going to leave your group, so you're not going to be able to command them anymore. And in the activation, we're going to put anybody present. Next, we're going to go back to the set test state, and we're going to place down another trigger. And we're going to place this trigger right about here. It's not going to be a trigger of any size. And what we need to do is sync the trigger to the failed test state and we're going to edit the trigger and we're going to put in a live space POW and semicolon and lastly we're going to go back to our previous trigger with the code and we're going to take this code here we're going to copy it press control C just hit cancel and we could delete that and go back to our area trigger over here edit it and we're going to put this in the on activation box after this code here. And then press Control V. And just hit OK. Next, we're going to go to our marker. We're going to move our marker. And we're going to put the marker right about here. Go back to the player. And we're going to just move him right about here. We're going to save this. The way this works is you'll get a task. Your task is to rescue. He's going to join your group. And then what you got to do is you're going to bring him to area where he's going to be rescued. Once he enters that trigger, he's going to leave your group. And once he leaves your group and it completes the task, then right here is where the reward or the vehicle is going to spawn in. So let's test it out. If we go to our map, you can see we have a task here. It says rescue the POW. We gave it a description of the civilian was captured by the enemy. Rescue him. Well, obviously there's no enemy, but for the sake of demonstration. Two, join group. So he's going to join us, and I'm just going to tell him to form file. Follow me. And we have our trigger up here. I'm just going to tell him. Two, move left. Copy that. And there, we completed the task. We've got our hint at the top right. It says you have earned a new vehicle as your reward, and there is the vehicle. Alright guys, I hope you found that useful for rewarding your player with whatever. You could do vehicles, you could do helicopters, you could do boats, whatever. It depends on your scenario. I want to thank you guys for watching. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.